Friday, May 5th, 1944, Cinco de Mayo. Dear Kitty, Daddy is not pleased with me. He thought that after our talk on Sunday, I automatically wouldn't go upstairs every evening. He doesn't want any necking, a word I can't bear. It was bad enough talking about it. Why must he make it so unpleasant now? I shall talk to him today. Margot has given me some good advice, so listen, this is roughly what I want to say. I believe, Daddy, that you expect a declaration from me, so I will give it to you. You are disappointed in me, as you have expected more reserve from me, and I suppose you would want to be just a 14-year-old should be. You want me to be just as a 14-year-old should be. But that's where you've mistaken. Since we've been here from July 1942 until a few weeks ago, I can assure you that I haven't had an easy time. If you only knew how I cried in the evenings, how unhappy I was, how lonely I felt, then you would understand that I want to go upstairs. I have now reached the stage that I can live entirely on my own, without mummy's support or anyone else's for that matter. But it hasn't just happened in the night. It's been a bitter, hard struggle, and I've shed many a tear before I become, became as independent as I am now. You can laugh at me and not believe me, but that can't harm me. I know that I'm a separate individual, and I don't feel in the least bit responsible for to any of you. I am only telling you this because I thought that otherwise you might think that I was under, underhand. But I don't have to give an account of my deeds to anyone but myself. When I was in difficulties, you closed your eyes and stopped up your ears and didn't help me. On the contrary, I received nothing but warnings not to be so boisterous. I was only to be miserable all the time. I was reckless so as not to hear the persistent voice within me continually. I played a comedy for a year and a half, day in, day out. I never grumbled, never lost my cue, nothing like that. And now, now the battle is over. I have won. I am independent, both in mind and body. I don't need a mother anymore, for all this conflict has made me strong. And now, now that I'm on top of it, now that I know that I fought the battle, now I want to be able to go in my way, too, that the way I think is right. You can and mustn't regard me as 14, for all these troubles have made me older. I shall not be sorry for what I have done, but shall act as I think I can. You can't coax me into not going upstairs. Either you forbid it, or you trust me through thick and thin. But then leave me in peace as well. Yours, Anne. That was Friday, May 4th, from the Diary of Anne Frank. If you enjoyed that, click the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and thank you for watching.